welcome to all us in our travelogy lectures myself professor punalik padil today we are to see hydrodynamic lubrications so in previous lectures we have seen various modes of lubrications in which hydrodynamic lubrication is one of the major lubrication type so in this type the lubrication is essential for efficient functioning of the most travelable problems in the industries like motor vehicles locomotive machine tools domestic appliances gear boxes etc and all these are based on this hydrodynamic field for their operations so in basic theory we have to see hydrodynamic lubrication it is formed the oil film by the relative movement of the frictional surfaces means between the two surfaces there is a hydrodynamic film and this hydrodynamic lubrication means that the load carrying surfaces of the bearings are separated by relatively thick film of the lubricants so as to prevent the metal to metal contact and that that the stability obtained which can be explained by the laws of fluid mechanics or newtonian fluids so this hydrodynamic lubrication is also called as full film fluid lubrication a thick film of this lubricant it interposes between the surfaces of the bodies in the relative motion and there there has to be pressure build up in the film due to relative motion of the surfaces so in this generation of the pressure due to the hydrodynamic action generation of the pressure due to the hydrodynamic action can be explained in this the pressure is zero okay the pressure is zero at the leading edge and pressure remains low in the zone of leading edge it always increases toward trailing edge and maximum in the zone of trailing edge okay so here is the trailing edge is leading edge the condition of this hydrodynamic lubrication is governed by phys above physical properties of the lubricants so this is the viscosity relative speed of the melting surfaces so between these two contact surfaces the fluid in the clearance between the shaft and bearing remains adhere to both the surfaces and in motion for bearing of convergent shape the fluid adhering to the moving surfaces will be dragged into the rapidly narrowing bearing space covering in the direction of motion and thus building up a pressure sufficient to carry the load and this is the principle of this hydrodynamic lubrications so here we are seeing both the surfaces one surface is inclined and other is horizontal to the plane and between this the oil wedge is formed and to support the load <coughs> so here we are seeing the pressure distribution in this hydrodynamic lubrications so the pressure is always maximum in between the inlet and outlet so we can see full film or thick film lubrication between this two surfaces so assuming that the velocity will be linear in order to satisfy the flow continuity the velocity variation at both the sections this section 1 section 2 are given by solid lines the pressure build up automatically as the flow will have to go pressure induced term for series okay
in this kind of lubrications, the fluid is to be considered as unretainium. Okay, the fluid is considered as viscous and laminar. And the revision of the bearings depends on the large action to hydrodynamic actions. Okay, here. Yeah. The viscous properties of oil significantly affect the hydrodynamic actions. And this hydrodynamic pressure built up across with the support of the applied load. And this is due to the phenomenon of dragging the oil into the reduced converging space in the direction of the motions. So, oil is dragged in this converging zone to form the wage action. Okay. So, in this hydrodynamic lubrications, we are having the example of this hydrodynamic German bearings, in which there is a shaft and journal of this bearing in which the hydrodynamic action is takes place. So, to study of this hydrodynamic lubrications, following two cases are clearly prevails. The mechanism is pressure developments. So, in this first case, we are putting the two parallel plates separated by the oil field. And other cases, two non parallel plates, or one is inclined or one is horizontal. So, between this, the oil field is there. So, in parallel plates, the length of plate is uh, very long and uh, flow to take place only in one dimension. The upper plate is moving with a constant velocity while the lower plate is with respect to lower plate for no slip conditions. And in two non-parallel plates, one bit is kept inclined with respect to the other bits and assuming that the velocity to be linear. So, for these hydrodynamic vibrations, we have to study these hydrodynamic general bearings in next lectures. Okay, thank you.